This blouse we are going to make with the lining. This is lining fabric, the cotton thin fabric, which is pre-washed, ironed and laid, folded to cut just the front part. We mark from the top a straight line, then the shoulder, shoulder, half of shoulder and add a quarter of an inch for the seams. Then the neck width maximum you can take 6 inch, neck length I'm taking three and a half inch and then we extend this line same as the neck width or one inch or half inch less to it to shape our neck. So here we shape our neckline. We are cutting only the front part. Then we mark armhole. Formulas I have given. You can stop the video and check. This is 7 inch are taken. We can add 1 fourth of an inch to make it slightly loose. Then the dart length would be 10 inch. It is somewhat standard. 10 or 10 and a half inch if your bust is heavy. Then the total length I am taking 15 inch. A blouse is a fitted garment. So the measurement we take is one fourth of the total round of the waist or the bust round. The additional fabric that we add like three fourth of an inch in this case that is for making the dart. We keep about two inch below for fold and this fabric this additional fabric would also be covered in the darts while we'd be making darts this will be consumed in that now this is the armor length we checked I took about seven because I want a sleeveless or cut sleeve blouse I extend this marking here also three fourths of an inch is the additional for the darts then we take one inch less than our shoulder the shoulder that we marked and join the upper marking with the lower one Taking half inch down for shoulder slope, join it with the neck and then we shape the armhole. This is our front armhole. Now we keep about 3 inch from the fold for the darts from the bottom also we mark that it is 3 inch the formula is just divided by 12 and from the sides we join and this is the basic thing of the blouse that is done now we mark the darts this is middle of the armhole curve the curvy side we take middle of that and here keeping about one inch or one and a half inch away from the exact middle we mark for the darts here we are making a middle dart one from the armhole one from the side and one from the bottom but middle line we join then from the side that will be two inch up And we had already marked here we join we mark for the darts and this dart would be half inch from each side wider to narrower side we mark we join it this 
the lower marking. Here we had added, <coughs> we had kept 3 fourth of an inch. So we have to consume that 3 fourth of an inch within the darts. So that will be slightly half, more than half inch. mark and consume that 3 fourth of an inch within the darts we have to make sure that we take the additional fabric the extra fabric should be taken into the darts so that our blouse is not loose or ill-fitted from the middle of the armhole till the center again we take about half inch each side From wider till narrower side, we make a pointed dart. Making this blouse is very easy. You can make it within half an hour. And the middle of this, we are making a fish dart because we are keeping a side zipper in this kind of blouse. So, if you want to Wear this blouse without any dupatta or a chunni. You can do that. It will look very classy. Or a, you can make a long kurti. By extending the length of this blouse. And we are with a plazo. Or, a, or like an umbrella skirt. Now we keep 2 inch on the sides. The, like, this is the additional thing that we see allowance. Here we have our tracing wheel which we press on the stitching lines and we can press on these darts also or the foldable fabrics also and now we cut the outer lines. This is our front part of the blouse. You can make this blouse in any beautiful colors, brocade, sequined to make your festivals more beautiful and the dress more shiny and stylish. We press on the end of the Darts. Here our front is cut. Now we will keep it to cut the back. Back fabric also we washed, ironed, folded and kept to cut. The middle part is folded because we are not keeping the middle part open. We fold from the bottom. This is our front part that we had cut, we fold it from the bottom and then keeping it, we have to mark and cut the back part. So here you see how we make the changes. The neck, we keep half inch less than the front. Keeping just only half inch less, we mark the neck shoulder would be same as the front but the armhole would be half inch out the front armhole is deeper chest would be on the chest line we are not adding the additionals this is only the one fourth of chest line, but waist would be same as the front. Reason being, on the waist we are making darts, but on the chest we are not making any darts. Then keeping the side allowance, we cut the outlines. We have the tracing wheel, so we can mark with the tracing wheel, and then we cut the outlines. 
now you may have this question that uh, in the front part of the blouse we are we were keeping 2 inch extra but here on the back side we are not keeping 2 inch extra why the reason is the bust is heavy so we need to have that additional fabric in the front so that we can adjust that in darts here we have the broken fabric or any fabric whichever you are using the length should be same as the lining fabric that is 80 cm or 1 meter whatever you have taken 1 meter is for a heavy like medium to large size and 80 cm would be smaller to medium size replace the fabric back side out place the lining this way see this is the benefit of making pattern when we have the pattern we save fabric but to save time generally i show without making patterns here we mark our lining on the main fabric and then we cut on this line in the coming videos I'll be showing you how to stitch this blouse, how to make the side zipper, how to make the petticoat neck with a folded uh, method. That is very easy method, and you can literally complete this blouse within half an hour. If you want to watch this video or any of my my other videos in Hindi, you can subscribe to Stitching on Hindi Urdu channel as well. So keep watching and uh, do subscribe if you didn't subscribe yet, so that you don't miss making. this dress or any other dress that i am going to share very soon so these are the pieces that we have cut the lining and the main fabric if we run our tracing wheel on the darts that would be easier for us to fold the or stitch on the darts this is a boat neck sleeveless blouse with lining and in the next video will be i'll be showing you how to do the side zipper we start with joining the shoulders back side of the fabric join the shoulders After joining the shoulders of our main fabric, we join the shoulders of our lining as well, back side out. But here, just pay attention that this side where we are stitching the shoulders, this is not the marked one, and uh, this lining is placed around the neckline. neck of our base fabric main fabric and it is placed and pinned and the shoulders you can see how i spread the joints of the shoulders and the joints would be towards outside then we stitch around the neck line this is our boat neck line This is one of the simplest way how you can make neckline of any dress. You can watch this video and the cutting video and my other videos in Hindi as well in Stitching Mall Hindi Urdu channel. You can subscribe to that so that you don't miss any notifications in the future. Once we stitch the neckline, we turn this lining inside. The finer side, the right side of the fabric of our blouse would be out and our neckline would look neat this way. Then we stitch, we make a top stitch around the neckline. Once we done that 
we will stitch the sides the lining with the fabric this is a long stitch a running stitch that you can make just to join the lining with the main fabric and this is a standard process we do so that while we are making the final dress a lining shouldn't be moving around so this is how we'll stitch the armholes and the sides of the lining with the main fabric This is a long running stitch. We'll be stitching just around the edges. This way our lining would be sticking to the main fabric. While you make any suit or any dress, then also you follow this process. After doing this, we make the darts. We made a small notch if you remember while cutting our lining and our blouse. So we'll fold from that notch so we know the center point of our notch or our darts and starting from the wider we stitch till the narrower side of the dart this is the armhole center dart the side dart which starts from the armhole then from bottom till the middle i'm taking the darts too long you can take them about half inch less than what i have shown if the both sizes heavier then we make the middle fish dart this starts with a narrower end then getting wider in the middle and then again getting narrower on the other end same way we'll be making all the darts on the other side of the panel of this blouse as well and this way we will repeat the same process the other side of the blouse then we make the darts on the back side of the blouse we'll hold the fabric and then from wider till narrower we'll finish it where we end the blouse we'll be making two knots making darts is simple and it it gives grace to your shape your body the dress looks very well fitted now we finish the armhole by using about 1 inch wide wire strip that we need to pull slightly around the armhole if you want to see this process in detail you can ask me in comment section and i'll send you the link that is available on stitching mall website once we have finished it we'll turn this bias strip towards the inside and make a top stitch or you can do a hemming if you want to it is a golden color blouse and in ready made made blouses generally they make machine stitches So machine stitch is in fashion nowadays people like that you can save your time by making a 
machine stitch but if the fabric is too fine or you want a very graceful uh, dress then hemming is always a better idea we'll finish the other armhole the same way with a bias binding then i'm showing you a strap holder this strap holder is useful in wider necks or and in blouses or other dresses where your straps may be visible from the sides that may look vulgar and cheap so to avoid that and uh, being very conscious about your straps showing up we stitch these straps on the shoulders of our dress so we make about 2 uh, inch or 1 and a half inch or 2 inch depending on the wideness of your shoulder starting from the back side here we fold it and make a double stitch to keep it there if you want you could stitch it under the side joints as well which i'll show you in some other time if you stay subscribed you'll get the notification or uh, in your ready made dresses or in dresses which do not have strap holders till now you can make a small 1 and 1/2 inch long or 2 and 1/2 inch long strap holder this way and then you'll be making stitching snap buttons on it both the sides will make same strap holders so this is how it will be done and then you can use dish buttons so in this final video we stitch the side zipper this is a very simple process If you are if you are a right-handed person then stitch the zipper on the left side of the blouse or the dress and uh, if you are a uh, left-handed then stitch the zipper on the right side of your blouse so we check the chest that should be half of our chest we don't have to add any ease allowance it is a body fitting garment and we have made the darts for a good fitting so that will should that should be half of your chest and or bust and uh, the waist should be the same formula half of your waist now this side keeping about 1 and 1/2 inch from top we will stitch our zipper these kind of slim zippers in different colors are available in the market they are particularly for ladies dresses the other side of the blouse will stitch to close from top till the bottom on the marking the stitching mark that we made and this side will stitch only 1 and 1/2 inch from the top the rest of the part is for stitching the zipper we had gapped about 2 inch on the sides for seam allowance we fold this fabric so in future if needed you can remove the stitch and make the blouse loose for yourself or fit it for the for yourself so this is how we hide the extra fabric and fold it we pin the other side also the extra fabric would be pinned inside pinning would be easier for us to make our work of stitching simpler this is a simple process 
If you want, you can use some scotch tape also. But sometimes the tape removes the fiber. So pinning is something you can for delicate fabrics. It's better to pin or to use basting stitch. This way we fold the extra fabric. And then this is our zipper. This is a slender thinner kind of a zipper available. You can see even the hook of this one stopper is different and uh, slightly thinner than the zipper we use for men's clothes. Starting from the down from the waist side the stopper would right side of the stopper would be facing the right side of our blouse and starting from waist we go up we can hide our zipper under our blouse fabric you can see closely this way we stitch till the top till the stage where we ended that one and a half inch stage to close the side of the blouse and then we turn to put both the pieces together stitch over it this is a plastic zipper so there is no harm to your needle I'm using a 16 inch sorry 16 size needle that is for cotton fabric or for slightly thicker fabrics if you are stitching a georgette or silk or any thin fabric you can use 11 number needle this way we cover the other side of our zipper we attach it to the blouse side and see the stopper should not be coming under the way of our presser foot because that way we tend to get our stitch slightly curvy or zigzag way which doesn't look really nice now on the other out, outer side of the zipper also I'm making a stitch but if you want you can hem I'm giving a complete uh, ready-made kind of a look to this blouse that's why a machine stitch is all right it looks good on this but for if you want to have a more graceful or a more better look like uh, you want a better look for your blouse then a hem is always a good option a machine stitch is those it saves your time and it is in fashion also nowadays so we remove the pins one more thing that we can do if you want to later on if you want to do a hem we can hem and uh, we can remove this machine stitch machine stitch if we take longer stitches it saves the efforts to put the pieces in play, place now we fold the bottom so here I'm folding that two inches fabric that is a little like uh, more than one and a half inch and slightly less than two inch so the total length of my blouse after stitching that will be 14 inch or 14 and a half inch so depending upon the length that you want you can fold I'm not keeping anything extra for this as you have followed both my earlier videos this blouse comes out perfectly nice and well fitted now from this zipper side you can see we'll cover the entire piece entire fold and we'll pin it 
A zari fabric or a brocade fabric is easy to handle. A cotton fabric is also very easy to handle. We can easily pin them but pinning them vigorously can leave some pin stains. So be careful you use sparingly and be sure which fabric can handle the pins and which fabric is delicate enough to have the markings of the pins. So here I pin all around the bottom of the blouse. Now we come closer to the zipper area. So see how this zipper side, the opening is to be decided. So we open it and fold it. So later on, if you want to increase the length of your blouse, you can easily do that. You can easily replace the zipper also if needed because you have to just remove the side stitch and remove the zipper and replace it. So that becomes easier for you. Even at the time of fitting, you can easily make the stitches of fittings. I hope you like this video and you liked uh, making this blouse watching my earlier videos of cutting and stitching it. So keep watching and keep encouraging me. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.